Good night of Shabbos. I hope you're having an awesome day and getting ready for Shabbos. It's a pleasure to be with you. So, the beginning of this week's Torah portion is the story of Isaac and Rebecca getting married. And the Torah tells us how they were barren for 20 years and they prayed to God and they pleaded with God to have a child. And it's interesting because all the, almost all the matriarchs were barren and had a hard time having children. Sarah couldn't have children. Rebecca couldn't have children. Rachel couldn't have children. But why? And maybe, just maybe, there's an interpretation. Some of the commentaries speak about this and it's so beautiful. That sometimes the things that come naturally, we take for granted. The things that we don't have to pray for and don't have to beg for and don't have to plead for, we just take it for granted. It's like someone who has a health scare and they're sick and people pray for them all over the world and suddenly they have a speedy recovery. They have a renewed appreciation of the life, of the gifts of getting up every morning, of breathing, of being able to, of being able to stand up and walk and talk. But sometimes when we don't have to pray for it, when things come naturally, we just take it for granted. You know, I think of myself who was married. Within a year, we were blessed with a child, and today we have 10 children. But the matriarchs, they had to pray and plead for each child. And maybe, just maybe, because they plead so much for their children, and because they begged so much for it, that they never took them for granted. And they inherited and instilled within, we, we inherited and were instilled with by our patriarchs and matriarchs to appreciate the gift of life, the gift of children, and to always nurture it and never take it for granted. The rabbis tell us that God wants and desires the prayers of the righteous so he can answer them and give them what they need and that they should be able to appreciate the gifts. You know, growing up in my teenage years till I got married, my grandmother, blessed memory, Bacheva Kalmanson was her name, my mother's mother, lived in our home. And all day she said psalms. She always prayed and always pleaded with God that God should bless her with the things that she needed. And it had such an impression on me growing up, the piousness, the sincerity of her prayers. She never took anything for granted. She recognized that everything was a gift from God. And isn't that the first prayer we say in the morning? Thank you, Hashem, I'm breathing. And that's the message the Torah says when the matriarchs were barren. That they recognized the gift that God gave them. The story about the school who had a child who made a lot of trouble. His mother was a widow and they didn't want to bother her and they tried to help him and help him. But it came to a point where one day they called in the mother and they said, we're expelling your child from school. He says, what do you mean? He says, listen, the kid's been giving us a lot of trouble. It's been very complicated, but we never wanted to bother you because you have so much, but there's no choice left. It just bother me? Why didn't you tell me? I'm his mother. I would have prayed. I would have pleaded. I would have beseeched upon God. And the principal listened and he says, you know, maybe she's right. And he says, you know what? We're not going to expel him. We're both going to pray. And hopefully, you know, in the, at, the beginning, at the beginning of COVID, I heard this powerful story about this guy who needed oxygen to breathe. And he went in to see his doctor and his doctor said, you know, your breathing is having issues and we're going to give you an oxygen machine. You're going to take it home and you'll have it for a week so you can have oxygen until your breathing gets better. And he took it home and after the week he came to the doctor and he said, doctor, he was a man in his 60s, he says, doctor, how much do I owe you? And the doctor says, it's, the bill is $5,000 to have the machine in your home for the week. And the guy starts crying and the doctor looks at him and says, why are you crying? Is there an issue? Could you not afford it? We'll help you. We'll get someone to help pay for it. He says, no, that's not why I'm crying. So the doctor said, why are you crying? He says, I just recognized I'm 60 something odd years old. And if I owe you $5,000 for one week of a machine to help me breathe, what do I owe the Almighty for 60 plus years of being able to breathe fresh air and live in this world? Suddenly, because of his crisis, he recognized to appreciate the gifts that we take for granted. So let us learn from our matriarchs who had to pray and plead to have children. And because of that, they never took children for granted. And we shouldn't take the blessings in our life. We're coming to Thanksgiving soon. And we should be able to pray and connect to God and recognize that everything is a gift. May it be a beautiful, peaceful, healthy, and warm Shabbos. God bless you. And see you tomorrow in Shul.